Hey guys, and welcome to a look inside the Vintage Geek's toy room. I'm John, the Vintage Geek, producer and host of the Super Awesome Geek Show. And today we got something kind of cool, something old, something nostalgic, something sci-fi. It's Legions of Power! Just feel the power when you play with this set. Let's check out the box here. Motorized Legions of Power build a universe of battle machines. This series was sort of like robotics, but on a smaller scale with much smaller action figures. And in my opinion, a little bit more sci-fi variety I don't know I don't know it's hard to choose really robotics or legions of power because robotics had cool monster looking things where this was pretty much all sort of vehicles but anyway the box art is really cool I really like these boxes this is a great package design you see all the features on pretty much every side of the box you got cool options to build in various different pictures on each side of the box. Like I said, see there's another picture of a different way to construct this vehicle. And on the bottom is yet again another way to construct it and the same kind of stuff all over the place. So no matter where you look, you've got ideas for constructing the machine and you've got everything you want to know about this toy and on the back of the packaging it clearly shows five different ways of making it different modes here that you could sort of put this thing in that they suggest for you to build and have hours and hours of fun just rearranging this thing they clearly show you all the different parts that you're going to get with this set on the box. I mean, it's it's right there, even the little figure you get. It's so cool. Warlock. Build a universe of battle machines. Each new adventure begins when you build one of the modes shown or create your own. It's awesome. It's so awesome. Legions of Power! Let's take a look in the box, because this is what's cool. It opens up to show a window box. So not only do you get to see all the pieces printed on the back, but you can look in the window box and see all the pieces you're going to get. It's so cool! <laughs> this is when package design was at its top notch. There's an awesome cartoon here where the bad guys are getting it into it, with the good guys are going to blow them up. There are cartoons all over this thing and backstory everywhere. There's, you know, it's right here on the flap on the box. There's cartoons and backstory on the package design inside. There's cartoons and backstory in the uh, pamphlets that come with it. And by the way, you get pamphlets galore. You're going to see that real soon. You can read this here if you want. That's why I'm kind of pausing on it for a little while. Telling you the story behind Legions of Power. And an awesome story it is. Our technology fell onto these two unsuspecting planets and caused them to go to war with each other. Isn't that crazy? Human technology ruined two planets and set them in, in war with each other. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. I often wonder if like the Voyager probe or one of the Pioneer probes crashes into a planet, if it would do something similar. <laughs> so there's this nice tray that you can pull out of the box. Really cool. It has this clear window thing that you can sort of tab off of it pull up it's so nice that everything comes in this nice little tray you can pack everything back up you gotta get out all the pieces here let's take everything out right now and then we'll look at all the pamphlets and then we'll build ourselves a vehicle this is so awesome so much fun 
<laughs> oh boy. I guess that's like a less complicated uh, robotics. Let's call it that. Yeah. It's like robotics, but a little less complicated. Because you really could just go all the town with robotics. Here's the comic book that it comes with. Each of these sets for Legion of Power came with a comic book. The blue guys were considered the good guys and the red guys were considered the bad guys. Red versus blue, right? I'll flip you through some of these things. Oh my gosh, look how menacing that bad guy is. He's really going to suck it to them. <laughs> oh, and they got to face some monster here. Look at that terrifying roar. Whoa. <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to read this later. This is so cool. Awesome. I love it when these things came with comic books. Like He-Man came with comic books. Sectars came with comic books. It was just so awesome to get a little com mini comic with your stuff. Did Mask come with a mini comic too? I don't remember. Look at him. He's all like, I am the typical good guy. And on the back, we've got the bad guys, the tech dynasty, all four of the commanders for that. And then we've got the five leaders for the star legions. Awesome. It even, it even has the sticker sheet. Well, I mean, the stickers have been put on it, but still having the empty sticker sheet. This is a, I, when I, I found this at such a good deal and I'm super excited that all the pieces are in here, including like that sticker sheet. And here's the uh, booklet guide that shows you all the different sets you can get. And again, here's the, a little bit of more backstory and comic stuff in here, as well as showing you the cool sets that you can get. Now, each one of these is one set shown built in three or four different ways. So they're sort of showing you the two rival sets, red versus blue, and four or five different, three or four different ways that you can build them. More background and lore for the legions and the bad guys there. Oh, there's so much story involved with this. It's so much backstory. And the only big one was for the good guys. They didn't have a big giant bad guy one, but they have a big giant good guy one. That comes with like five or six figures. It's pretty cool. And here's the good guy commander that's in charge of that big one. It's pretty awesome. Like I said, there's so much story and lore. So many little comic things. Like you get the whole team of good guys again. And then you get the whole team of bad guys again. And then you have more comic art to go along with it. He's just going to crush them. And he's like, no, you're not. Oh, yeah, here's an explosion. Boom. <laughs> and uh that's it for that one let's look at the last booklet so the last booklet we got is on how to use this particular set and uh it's pretty cool motorized legion of power legions of power so there's like if you were missing a piece back then you could call this number and get it sent to you or you could write to them here and get it sent to you. So like any missing pieces, they'll take care of it. There's good customer service here on this one. And then we got a whole background thing about the bad guy Warlock. And what he's doing here. Wartech. No, Wartech. Yeah, Commander Wartech. Why do I keep calling him Warlock? <laughs> And uh, all the pieces you're going to get in the set. And then, let's see, there's uh, ways of building parts and putting things together. The battery pack here. Yep, this is the battery pack. Because it's motorized, the battery hides inside this little tubular thing. And, uh, yeah, here's how to build some sample, sample vehicles. We got one, two three three sample vehicles you can build or you can create your own all right let's put that back in there and let's get to building 
build, 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 build. It's time to build. Now I've got to let you know. So like it's pretty easy. There's these pegs and hole system. So the whole pegs and holes just kind of go together. And I've got to let you know that the only negative to my set that I found here, I mean, it's got everything, but for some reason, when I put a C battery in there, it did not run the motors. So um, I can't actually show you how it drives. It looks like I'm going to have to take it apart and figure out why the motor is seized. Maybe replace that little electric motor that's inside there. But that will be for another time that maybe I'll do a uh, refurbishing video later on on how to fix these things. Because <laughs> I'm sure it can't be that hard. It's probably just something in internal mechanism that just got popped off track or seized or something. So it shouldn't be that difficult. I'll put the glow in the dark dome on here with a little satellite dish. That's going to be cool. Get ourselves some forward-facing guns on the cockpit. That'd be awesome. Got to have the weapons. You got to deck this stuff out with weapons. There's no way you can drive around without weapons. So put these on here. These giant cannons can go on the top. That'll be cool. And then I want it to be able to carry a payload. So I'm going to take this big flat piece... Let's see, I don't need any of those for this particular build. What do we got over here? We got, there's some minor connector pieces that go from one to another. Let's see, this isn't on all the way. There we go. So this, this flat piece, if I want to put it on back here, what I've got to do is I've got to get a couple connectors to rise it up. So I've got to put this thing on here, sort of give it a little bit of height so it goes over the guns. And then this goes in between them so that I can put that on there. Ugh. Actually, this is gonna, this is gonna require two hands here, I think. Let's see. This is, this is really a tight fit. This is a tight fit. There we go. <laughs> On. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Pew, 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 pew. All right, the battery pack. We got to put that on. That goes on the back. That could be like a, that's sort of like its storage container, right? Get these pieces out of the way and take a look at what we've built. I'm going to straighten some of these out. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist here. Got to straighten some of this stuff out. Make sure everything's on nice and snug. So it doesn't fall apart as we're playing with it. Make sure everything's straight and lined up. And there we go. Our Legions of Power vehicle for war tech. Da, da, da. It's pretty cool, right? It's fun. You know, you can build all kinds of things. They look very sci-fi. It looks very space age. Let's take a look at the figure himself. Here's Wartech himself. These little figures are highly detailed for the size that they are. They are like the paint jobs are pretty cool. I mean, think of the look at that. He's got light green eyes, dark green and tan in his coloring. Just to show you how small these are. These guys are really small. Let's grab Boss. He's right over here. And we'll put Boss right next to it. Look at that. He doesn't even come up to Boss's waist. <laughs> He's like less than an inch tall. <laughs> That's how small these guys are. Do you see what I mean? Well, let's get him in the cockpit here. So they do have like four points of articulation. Check this out. The arms move. If I can get this to go. He's pretty stiff. The arms move and he can sit down. So he can go in the cockpit and be like, yeah, I'm sitting here driving and stuff. So let's get that out of the way and put him in there. Sorry, I'm hanging on to the camera and trying to do this with one hand. It's not a good idea. I should have set the camera down, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. He's in there. 
Legends of Power! So cool. Yeah, it looks kind of like the box, right? We built sort of what's on the box there. Yeah. Legions of Power! I'm pretty happy with this toy. I really like it. I want to get... I got to get a blue set now so I have a good guy to go with the bad guy, right? That's, this is what happens. You get one thing at a good deal and you get, like, into it going... I kind of remember these from when we were kids. And then you, like, want more. And you get stuck into this, like, never-ending cycle of wanting more cool, nostalgic toys. And then next thing you know, you've got the whole set and you've spent hundreds of dollars. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching another super awesome video inside the Vintage Geeks toy room. I'm John. I'm out of here. Thanks a lot.